Hello, here we are again today, and we are lots and lots of fun. Guess what we're going to sculpt today? Imagine how cool dragons really are. Dragons have wings, right? Dragons read books, right? It's going to be a lot of fun. Come on in. Cool. This is a miniature of the big one, and the big one is going to be next to La Casita in Springville, Utah this week. So go by and say hi to Delbert the Dragon. Send us a picture. Maybe we'll surprise you with a little present. That's right. <laughs> Send us a picture of you next to Delbert the Dragon in Springville, Utah at the incredible La Casita restaurant. Oh my gosh, we missed that place. It's have so nachos good. for us. Yes, nachos <laughs> and chips and guacamole. Oh, Ooh, la, la. and a seafood enchilada if you want. That's my favorite there. Lisa, what's your favorite there other than the chips and salsa? Chips and salsa, that's it. Hundred percent. <laughs> and the people. I love the people there. Oh, the staff there are so yeah. wonderful. So wonderful. And we always see friends there, so yeah. I miss Lots that. Lots of friends, great gathering place. Guess what we're gonna sculpt today? Another pair for Statue of Liberty. We did a pair for our quail. Friday, we did a pair. Let's go ahead and sculpt another pair. Can you see a pair in the dragon here? See, he's just a big old, a big old cool pair. Look, he's halfway done already. So we'll just, Form our clay into a fun little pair. You at home, there's so many cool things about dragons. And so often we read about dragons. I decided to sculpt Delbert here reading about us. So that's why I have him on a stack of books. And we also get to sculpt some books. So with your pair, go ahead and make his head, squish the top of your clay, excuse me, we'll make his neck, and it could be a he or a she, I, it's Delbert the dragon, but it could be Delbert the female dragon or male dragon or whatever, but uh, okay, so there's our start, that's where you're starting out. And like I said, we're going to today have Delbert sitting on a stack of books because Delbert loves to read, okay? And you at home, you can make Delbert any way you want. If you don't want to do Delbert on a stack of books reading, my gosh, that's just fine. And you can make Delbert any color you want. And it doesn't need to be a Delbert, it could be a Francis, it could be a Juliet the Dragon. You get to choose. Einstein said, creativity is intelligence having fun. So hopefully 
These are fun for you. And with our fun, we're gonna make a book. There's one of the books that our Delbert is gonna be sitting on. Right now, it looks like a gourd sitting on a book, right? So we'll slowly turn, turn Delbert into a, our gourd into a dragon. One thing, isn't it interesting that Delbert has wings? We have sculpted so many wings, right? You would think you like wings, Gary. We kind of like wings, don't we? <laughs> they symbolize so much, right? Flight and movement and getting above the earth, getting above our problems, looking at things from a higher perspective. There's a famous saying right now, it's a, a 30,000 foot view. You know, that's, that's getting getting away from our problem and being able to see it from a different perspective. What a great idea. Okay, so there's another book. Two books we have. How are you coming at home with your books? They're kind of fun to make. One of the things that we can do with our, uh, our magic tool here is books. You can make the pages just by simply doing that, right? Do that. There we go. Here's some pages on this side. Okay, and then there's the binding side of the book. We can do the same on these. So you can have lots of fun with your that looks Your cool. books. You could make a stack, you know, this tall of just books and then sit a little teeny dragon on it. Lots of possibilities. Okay, one thing I'm looking at, dragons have to have a cool tail, right? So let's go ahead and put a tail on our dragon. Now you'll notice when you go to Springville, and you uh, go visit Delbert the dragon, and in just a minute, I'm gonna tell you why I named my dragon Delbert. But when you go to Springville, to La Casita restaurant, and visit Delbert, you are going to be able to sit right there on the tail and look at what Delbert is reading. And when you check out the book, you're gonna find there's a cool little story mm -hmm. right for you to read while you're visiting with Delbert. The backstory. The backstory, and you're going to find, it. I even sculpted him right here, really, really teeny. There's a little mouse. Can you see it there on my little sculpture? On the big sculpture, when you visit him, you're gonna be able to see him real well. His name is Morris. So we have Delbert the dragon and Morris the mouse. Say hi to Morris from us. Okay, so we've got our, our dragon here, our Delbert. We've got his tail coming around over here. And you will notice also on Delbert the dragon in Springville, there's a whole bunch of hearts. Notice the, the shape of where you're gonna be sitting on him. It's in the shape of a heart. Notice on Delbert's chest, over his heart is a heart. See how many hearts you can count on Delbert the Dragon in Springville. Send us some uh, pictures or some text. Tag me on it on my post here. Okay, there's where you're gonna be sitting. Tag me on my post of how many hearts you found on Delbert the Dragon. Okay, so there's that. Lisa, you could almost turn that song up a little you bit. You okay That's with that? Such a beautiful song. Oh, I like that. Puff the Magic Dragon. Morning, Kim Roseman, Two Back Gallery. And looks like Hi, Gus Kim. Price is also on here. Awesome. 
Awesome. Hello. How are you? Brett Parson. Good. A few people I don't know, but I know those three. I'm sure yeah. you know everybody. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed doing some sculpting here. You can always watch this later if you can't uh, take the time right now to see it. So right now we are going to sculpt Delbert's legs here. So make you a tube like this, or a snake. And then go ahead and just uh, let's see where, where it's coming out there. We'll, we'll put that up like that. We'll just bend that up. We'll add this to the side, see how it's uh, got his cute little thigh attached there. And then his leg comes up. There's Delbert's knee sticking out there. Okay, so there's one leg. And then we had Delbert uh, cross his legs, right? In this so picture. cute. <laughs> so let's go ahead and stick another leg over here. Make this long enough. Kind of skinny legs. Blend that. Yeah, he's got some little. Hi, Cammie Miller and girls. Yay, Cammie's with us. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Cammie and girls. Are you sculpting dragons? <laughs> Hopefully. Can't wait to see your pictures of what you ended up with. Okay, we got to stretch that knee down there. Okay, so there. You kind of have him crossing his leg, right? How are you all coming at home? Are you getting a dragon crossing his legs or her legs? Let's go ahead and put something here for a foot. Dragon foot. Another one here for a dragon foot. See, we don't need lots of detail yet. We just want to... I'll bet you're going to use that Wanna popsicle stick again. Put that in, and then we will. We'll use our popsicle stick and make a few lines on there. Make a few lines here. It's fun to just keep it kind of simple for our viewers at home. A lot of you can make it just as detailed as you want later. Well, we have to put a head on Delbert, my goodness. So let's kind of make like a, it's kind of like a crocodile head, isn't it? Yeah, so. Let's go ahead and stick his head on there. My goodness. What would a dragon be like without a head to and a beautiful mouth to blow out all that fire, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We probably have to put some little eyeballs on Delbert here. Got to have a big schnout to blow some of that fire out. It's got to have some really cool ears. I love those ears. You can right? almost fly with those. Yeah, absolutely. Dragon's ears, I found out, are a lot like horse's ears. Big, cool shaped ears. And then on my dragon, I stuck a little horn right here on his nose there. And then let's put a little clay down here for his lower jaw. Look how much of a jaw we've got there on our Delbert. So let's go ahead and add some clay here for that jaw. 
And then we'll use our stick and we'll make a nice smile on Delbert. Okay, there we go. Make a little smile mark there. There. Now we have a friendly dragon. Go ahead and stick some. It's actually a mandible. Our lower jaw is called a mandible. And our skeleton over there shows it really well, but we'll go ahead and add that. And we'll make a popsicle stick. We'll start out with that and then go there. Cool. There we go. Nice big smile on Delbert. Okay. How are you coming at home? How's your dragon looking? I want some pictures. When you get done, please on this site, go ahead and post your pictures later. Let's go ahead and uh, before we put his arms in his uh, book that he's reading, Let's go ahead and put these wings on him, okay? Wings are just, uh, we sculpted wings a lot, so we'll just kind of make that shape right there. Mm. And go ahead and stick a wing on Delbert. And you could make these wings as big or as small as you want. Hi, Brian Choate, Arizona. Hi, Brian, good day hear from you. Are you sculpting today? Can't wait to see if uh, you guys are what you come up with. Okay, we got another wing here. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and stick it on there. See, they could be back further or like that. Let's maybe raise uh, Delbert's head up just a little bit like that. Okay, I think he's coming along pretty good, but <laughs> our little Delbert has to have some arms that he can hold his book up, right? Absolutely. So we'll go ahead and make us a snake, our favorite shape, right? Love that comment, Stacy. <laughs> what was that comment? Thank you for being such a huge giver, Gary Lee Price and Lisa Clark Price. Here's the best part. P.S. I want to teepee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do a virtual teepee every Thursday night, so. Yeah, and Lisa does incredible teepee. Message routines, me. So. It's free. It's just Zoom. Okay, here's our elbow. We bent the clay. Here's a nice little shoulder for Delbert. We'll go ahead and. Mm. And just stick that right on there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. We're, we're going to be able to hold up a book, I think. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing here. We'll bend that right there. Make this a little elbow. In German, it's called Elbogen. Because it's in the shape of an L, right? So we'll make his little shoulder there. We'll go ahead and stick that on the other side here. We're getting ready. Delbert's getting ready to hold a book. We have to make a couple of hands. So we'll just grab our clay and pinch it on there. There, he's got a hand. Look how easy that was. Remember when we sculpted the Statue of Responsibility, we just started out with a kind of a shovel like that, and then we made our slits in there for our digits, and we stuck a thumb on there. But right now, we'll just stick our shovel on there, piece of clay. Okay, now we are going to make a book that's opened. Just like this awesome book right here that Lisa brought out in this book, Dragons Love Tacos. And we will make the book like that. Open. Hi, Joy Quist. Yay, Joy. Speaking of my Hi, teepee, you. Joy was here to help us pitch that teepee when we first moved here. Thank you again. I just barely oh, right. saw your names and handprints on the teepee the other day. Yeah. Miss you guys. That was fun, fun when 
people come to Lisa's uh, teepee retreats, they dip their hands in some paint and then put it right on the teepee and their, their mark is forever teepee to help us remember our cool friendship and our connection with each other, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Nancy Abramovitz. Okay. I think that's a Chicago in the house. Ooh, yeah. So we have Chicago. Where are some of the other places we have today? California, Arizona, Utah that I know right now. Yeah. Haven't heard from our friend in China or India today. Maybe they're busy on a Monday catching up with everything. But it's fun to have friends all over the planet and connections. It's all about connections, right? We're exactly. All one. We're all together, even though we're apart. And of how course. nice is technology that we even had an early morning call with China today? Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. We had a call to China today. How interesting. Okay, so there's an open book. And then we can go ahead and use our stick and put some pages mm -hmm. on there like that if we want. I like it. Simple little detail makes it yeah, real. Just a little teeny detail turns just a flat piece of clay into a book. Isn't that interesting? It's kind of like life, you know, sometimes just the littlest things make things really, really special. Like wearing that awesome shirt from Hana Lee. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right. This uh, shirt came like, from Hanali. Hanali. When we went to Seapuff. That's right. <laughs> okay. For you at home, I'm sure you have your book done already. Oh boy, look how fun we're gonna. How much fun we're gonna have now. See the book? We can kind of stick a little bit to his belly, maybe. So it's going to hold it up. Little hands, his little... That's called having your nose buried in your book. Boy, I'll say, look at that. He <laughs> I is, love it. He has totally got his nose buried in his book. So yeah, if you want to uh, have your book stick on there real good, you could get a little piece of clay and just uh, stick it under there. Prop that up so it's the book has something to rest on. Maybe you have it so it's resting on his leg or his knee or whatever. Okay, how's it coming? Let's grab one of our fun little plastic tools. I think this eyeball here we want to we want to make it a little bit more of a shadow. So we'll make it darker like that. Mm. Remember, we're sculpting light. So we can just make our shadows darker. Now, what's really going to be fun is adding some texture. Mm -hmm. One of the important parts of sculptures, I think, is texture. Texture makes it fun. So... We're going to add some fun texture. Notice the scales on Delbert. Ooh, and the points. Let's go ahead and just grab your clay like that and stick some scales on there. Let's stick some, some fun, uh, fun, cool scales on Delbert. That's cool. That kind of makes a big difference, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really shows that it's uh, kind of dragon-like. Let's even put some scales down on his uh, on his tail here. See, on my original here, we've got lots of lots of scales on there. Could almost call them kind of what fins or. Okay, there's a place for you to sit so you can talk to Delbert. 
Now for some more texture, look at all of our fun little, uh, what would you call them, little? Sunspots. Little sunspots, <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna call them warts, but let's call them sunspots. Or kisses. Kisses, sun kisses. Frog kisses. Yeah, so we'll take our little clay and you can make little, little round pieces and go ahead and stick on there and uh -huh. kind of blend them in, that helps it. Look more like a dragon, right? And you at home that are using different colored clay, you can uh, you can make these different colors. That'll make it really fun. Got some on the tail here. We've got them, got them all over on them. Look how much that adds to it. Let's go ahead and stick some over here. Now I told you I'd mention why why I named my Del my dragon Delbert. Delbert was the name of my stepfather that raised me up in Montpelier, Idaho. And he worked for the railroad. Before he worked for the railroad, he also was in the army. He was actually a prisoner of war in Germany in World War II. And General Patton freed the prisoners there in Mooseburg, Germany. And Delbert came home, went to Idaho, went to school, learned how to be a telegrapher for the Union Pacific Railroad. And then later, many years later, well, not too many years later, I ended up coming to America from Germany as a little boy, and Delbert raised me in Montpelier, Idaho. So I decided to, raise, to name my dragon Delbert the Dragon dedication of a cool guy that raised me. Okay. So that texture really added a lot, I think. We could even put some little sunspots down here on mm -hmm. his arms. On his little... Let's put some on his thigh here. How's that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can just grab a little piece of clay like that and stick it on there. We're playing with texture. Texture adds a lot. Also, with your uh, stick, you could make some feathers on his wings. Look at that. That adds a lot to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Same here. We just go ahead and make those marks there. We're making some primary feathers on his dragon wings. Okay. See, we could put his head up here if we want. Can be looking up a little mm. bit more. Or he could if we wanted to. When you're sitting right here, he could go down and give you a kiss right there. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I think he needs these little horns right here. Oh, yes, yes. He needs little horns on his head. And a See, few dots a... down his forehead. Look at those. Yes, that's right. Okay, so... Get our clay and make a little, a little horn. Stick it on there, how's that? Let's make it a little bigger. Diane Stevenette is with us, Yay, California Diane. again. How are you, Diane? Good to see you. <laughs> Diane is a very, very talented artist. I'll and dear friend. Dear friend and has probably made lots of dragons in her life. Mm-hmm. Can only imagine. Yeah, okay, we'll make some Cool little scales. Mm. Oh, oh! I'm not sure why it just died on me. You might have to just hold it. But I will. I'll okay. hold it. Our awesome. little. What is this little thing called? I'm using. Uh, let's see. I forgot. Mm. Our gizmo just died. Whatever it is. Gimbal. Our gimbal. Our gimbal. So just now, I'm a little shaky here. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do on our dragon before I let you go and sculpt for the rest of the week until Friday when I'll see you again. Shelly Osterlow with the news is on here. Hi Shelly Osterlow, how are you? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful person. Husband, I believe, is also a sculptor. Incredible. So fun to know all these incredible people. We are going to make a heart because I don't know if you can see on there, Lisa, but I mm -hmm. put a heart on Delbert's heart. Absolutely. 
And so we will go ahead and take our little heart right here, we've made out of clay, and we'll stick a heart right there mm -hmm. on Delbert. Okay. How are you all doing at home? Did you get your Delbert done? Did it turn out okay? I can't wait to see pictures of it. I can't wait to see uh, what colors you used and your approach. And remember, there are infinite possibilities, infinite ways that you can make your dragon. You're the artist. It's your imagination. Remember that old Picasso guy who said, we're all born artists. Let's just stay artists. Remember to tap into our creativity at all times and to never lose sight of that inner child, that inner creativity that we all have. So join me again uh, Friday and not sure what we're going to sculpt in. It'll be a surprise, but I'm sure we'll have more fun. So take care. Have an incredible week. Stay positive. Stay connected. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Love you. And from it in the autumn mist In a land called Honolulu Up the magic drive